Hello, my name's James. I'm gonna show you how to lower the pressure in your heating system. So if the pressure's too high, you may have overfilled it via the filling loop and we need to get the pressure to one bar. So what we need to do is just find somewhere on the heating system where we can drain the water from. So here you can see me draining it underneath the boiler uh, on this magnetic filter. And there's just a little quarter turn valve. So we're just emptying it into the bucket just to slowly drop the pressure. So once this is done, we'll close it back up. So there's no rush with this, we'll just take our time, take a little bit out and make sure we get it to one bar. At the lowest part of the system, you might find a drain off valve and this is where you can drain the water from as well. This is a drain off radiator valve and this is exactly the same as a normal drain off valve. So put your hose pipe on, use a little adjustable spanner and you only have to open it up a little bit and the pressure will drop. So you can see here, there's, there's barely any water that's caused the pressure to go from one bar to nearly three bar. So that's all you need to take out of the system. And if you can't find a drain off valve, then you can empty the water from a radiator bleed point. So if you get a bleed key and empty the water into a bucket like this. So it's really important to keep the pressure in the heating system at one bar. If it's higher than one bar, then the heating system is going to be working under too much pressure. And this can cause the pressure relief valve on the boiler to start leaking.